Oh, here we have the latest light pad. This is a new model. It uh, has two layers of diffusion inside. There's an intermediate layer in, in just about halfway. Uh, this one is slightly thicker than some of the older ones. As discovered, you really just need the distance to uh, diffuse the light. So this one is about three centimeters, bang on about thirty millimeters. A little bit higher with the feet, but you need the feet to help it sit nice and flat. So, this is a bit of a demonstration. Here we have this is a 110 gram a GSM piece of sort of cartridge paper, some doodles of mine, and just an 80, 80 GSM sheet of photocopy paper. So, yeah, it'll go through that pretty, absolutely no problems. So, yeah. Um, Gradually getting them looking a bit neater. Finally managed to countersink the screws a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, these ones I'm currently doing for $100 flat uh, as an introductory offer. So if you'd like one, um, pipe up. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, give me a yell. Um, some people have uh, commented that they might like a, um, a dimming circuit. Um, it's possible that I can make one that sits in between the power supply and the box as a separate add-on component. So that's, that's something I could possibly do. Uh, that will be extra, of course. But yeah. As it is, this one has just under 4 meters of bright LEDs in it. It's got a, a large array. Yeah. So that'll It'll go through most of the paper, and um, it'll probably even go through 300 GCM watercolor paper, as uh, my other ones have. So yeah, get in contact if you're interested. We'll catch you later. And a quick video. Yep. So here's the 300 GCM watercolor paper. So 110 GCM cartridge paper, 300 grid GCM watercolor paper. No problems. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.